Okay, testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to. If I get my monitor to do what's necessary here, this is our live video weathercast of weather overtime. It is Friday morning. Things are looking pretty quiet for right now, at least a lot better than what they were just about maybe even 12 hours ago. So things decently quiet across much of the Mid-South area for the rest of the day today and looking pretty quiet into later on tonight. We'll talk more about the complete forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Let me go ahead and bring our Facebook people into things so they can see a little bit more about what's going on. If you're just joining us on Facebook, we are live right now, uh, keeping you updated on what's going on with the rest of the forecast for the time being. We are live on WREG News Channel 3's Facebook page. Thanks for joining us and keeping you updated on what's going on with the weathercast for right now. Again, things are pretty quiet for the time being, but we could be looking at more problems into the forecast as we go into next week, especially if you're heading toward the East Coast or Florida. We'll talk about that in just a little bit as well. Of course, naturally, we're having trouble with Facebook. Again, we're sitting right under the uh emitter up there so hopefully we'll get a good signal at least at some point in time or else we'll have to get some more duct tape and a little bit more in the way of help from there. Clouds across the Mid-South area for right now. We're not seeing anything in the way of huge amounts of rainfall. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. In the meantime for right now we are looking again at some pretty quiet conditions out there. Traffic pretty light on Germantown Parkway and looking again at some pretty quiet conditions throughout the rest of the forecast. Speaking of which forecast here in the blue bar, social media and the red bar up here and of course if you missed it at the opening screen we've got tons of social media out there as well Avery Nellum welcome to the show and happy birthday uh, Mar Mariana Silva bon dia hope that means good morning I'm not sure haven't had enough coffee Crystal Fowler good morning from Covington Monty Miller good morning to you as well rest of the day today again the remnants of what is left of Harvey making their way back over to the east of us you may even see just a little bit of some rotation going on here as it may Makes its way into Middle Tennessee and making its way on over to the east. So that's going to be again the best possibility of rainfall that we see across much of the area for later on. Notice again also that most of the rain has left eastern Arkansas. Some light scattered sprinkles around the boot heel back into around I-40. A little bit of activity over northern Mississippi and beyond that the heaviest activity by far right over southwest Tennessee between Bolivar, right over Hornsby, close to the Bethel Springs area and back up to the north around portions of Dyersburg for this morning. Some scattered light showers. So the farther east you go toward Nashville, that's where we're going to be running into even more rainfall throughout the course of the rest of the morning. So this is again going to be the possibility of more chances of rainfall throughout much of the rest of the Mid-South. Pretty much gone at this time and not seeing again too much of any other major problems out there. Uh, Renee King from Walnut, Mississippi. Some high wind out there. Good morning from Hardin County. Kanya Alicia Shreve. Hope I'm saying that right. Good morning to Leanne Matthews. Uh, Paula Cat. Welcome to the show. Hopefully we're getting everybody in here for right now. Uh, pardon me for the uh, audio problems. We're trying to get those taken care of at this time, but that's about as good as it gets for right now. Join me on Periscope and Twitter uh, for more information there. Let's see what's going on on camera for right now. Again, we do have, again, numerous cameras across the Mid-South. Quiet conditions out across much of the area, but still on the cloudy side out there. If you have any plans for travel, we've got, again, some light scattered showers, and that's about the most of what we're getting at this point in time. So that's about the heaviest activity we've got so far. We'll want to check out the tropics because, again, this is pretty uh, much the situation as it stands. Harvey is still technically a tropical depression, but as of right now, the advisory issued by the Weather Prediction Center, not the National Hurricane Center, as we see again the tropics governed by the National Hurricane Center, keeping an advisory on that. Currently, what's left of this storm system is strong enough to kick up a lot of uh, winds to around 30 miles per hour, so it is technically still a tropical depression this morning, and that's something we're going to be watching relatively soon. We have not only a hurricane back out into the Atlantic, and this one is starting to cause uh, some concerns relatively soon. Irma is a Category 3 
major hurricane out into the Atlantic. And beyond that, we have another storm system right off the coast of Africa, which could be in a very good place for development into the course of the next couple of days to where we see, again, more problems from this. So if you are traveling, again, we've got Irma and another storm system way out into the Atlantic right off of Africa, which could be a problem. Irma is going to be heading closer to us. Not a problem at this time for anything involving Harvey. That's going to continue up to the north and to the east and moving its way away from us at this point in time. Uh, June Sanders in Atlanta, but live in South Haven. Is there flooding and or damage? Yes, there is some minor flooding taking place depending on your location, but the heaviest activity is basically gone. We'll talk about that for right now. And there is some minor damage around the Mid-South. National Weather Service will be keeping an eye on what's going on with the forecast and also the cleanup out there as well. So if you'd like to see more about what's happening there, stay tuned for more. We'll keep you updated with News Channel 3. Harvey, again, will be making its way out of the picture throughout the rest of the day. Should be in southern Kentucky by later on tonight and eventually making its way up into the Appalachians and eventually heading toward the eastern Great Lakes and back over toward the area around New England. And that should be about it. Radar at this time, again, a very nice swirl of energy making its way over toward Middle Tennessee. Showers wrapping around the outside of that. Lots of tornado warnings yesterday. Four inches of rainfall for Memphis. That was a new daily record set for the day yesterday. So kind of nice to be able to see uh, some of that rain coming in for right now. Uh, is it ever going to stop raining Huntington? Teresa Esther, yes, it will be uh, later on. Covington, Tennessee, will we be seeing more rain from Jonathan E. Burton? Well, your rainfall is pretty much almost gone. Likewise, across West Tennessee, most of what you've been seeing at this time is basically uh, over with at this point and making its way on out of the picture. As you can see, most everything is gone to the east of the Mississippi River, and eventually all that will be heading its way back out that direction. Irma, once again, is going to be heading its way back toward the west and could be a problem for the Bahamas. It's a major storm, Category 3, winds of 115 miles per hour. This could affect the east coast or the Gulf of the United States. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. The storm system that was Harvey is going to again be making its way up to the north end of the east, heading into New England and leaving us with a very nice weekend coming up. No problems being seen throughout the holiday weekend, and we'll talk more about that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. The main threat for this morning, there was a flash flood watch in effect for West Tennessee. That has since gone by the wayside as of 7 o'clock. Time in the red bar up there as of right now, 7-11, so we are getting again some areas of showers and thunderstorms out across the area, leaving the Mid-South, heading over to the east of us. And wind gusts could be a problem as well. We do have a wind advisory taking place today for winds of around uh, 35 to 40 miles per hour. Could be around that area more than likely 15 to 30 miles per hour, but could be some higher gusts out there as what's left of Harvey rotates around and through the area. Rest of the day today, again, most of what we're going to be looking at is going to be the possibility of, again, those showers and thunderstorms leaving the Mid-South area, but much of what we're looking at right now is going to be, again, the possibility of just showers and thunderstorms across the Mid-South gone from the forecast into the course of the next several days. And my computer is acting very funky at this time. I'm not too sure why it's doing this. Hang on for just one second, and we'll get you some more information about what's going on through the day today. Getting closer. Hang on for a second. Really, I can do this. I do have enough coffee on board, believe it or not. There we go. Sorry, that should have been there from the get-go. Not too sure why it wasn't. Here's what we're looking for into the rest of the day today. Gremlins in the system or not enough coffee. You be the judge on that. Low temperatures, again, from the area into last night into tonight back in the 60s and 70s. Should be highs today back into the mid-80s or so. And that's what we're going to be looking at throughout the rest of the day today. Chances of rain, greatest back toward the east of us. That's going to be about it. And then heading into Friday night, very nice. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s to the lower 60s. Could be some breezy winds out there today, gusting over 20 miles per hour, coming in out of the north-northeast. And that's going to be, again, uh, the possibility of some fairly breezy conditions out there. But even those winds will be moving away from us and heading off to the east, so good news there. Plenty of sunshine with a few clouds on Saturday. Highs in the mid to upper 70s to right about the lower 80s or so. Getting into Saturday night, low temperatures, decently cool under mostly clear skies in the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s. Sunday looks great, mid to upper 80s, no problem at this point in time. Uh, Robert McCulley, what time is it stopping? Should be 
pretty much done as we get into around uh, the later portion of today. Friday afternoon should be gone from the Mid-South. Later on tonight, absolutely. And then for Monday, Labor Day itself, plenty of sun and temperatures for highs back into the mid to upper 80s. So looking very nice across much of the Mid-South area. I want to show you this real quick. Uh, this has been making the rounds on social media, and this is very important to notice. This is a personally drawn map, not by me, but by somebody else out there who did their own what's called wish casting forecast. You notice Irma and the forecast takes it on a very narrow forecast right on over to around Houston in those areas. This is fake. Worst of all, more than anything else at this point in time, is the fact that if you take a look in the upper left-hand corner, someone has slapped a NOAA logo over it, saying it's from the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. It is not. It is not even close to being an official forecast. So please don't share this around unless you're going to say this is fake. This is not the National Weather Service. This is not the National Hurricane Center. And under United States Code, Whoever did this and labeled it as being from the National Weather Service could be fined by the federal government. This is a federal crime to do this and or serve no more than 90 days imprisonment because of a punishment on this, depending on the judgment, if they discover who did this. This right here, fake, fake, fake. Do not spread this around, only unless to show and to tell everybody that it is fake. So again, if you see this around out there, check with the weather experts first, and we'll let you know more about what this thing actually looks like. This thing is very important to, again, make certain that everybody knows a little bit more about what's going on out there. And again, this time of the year, you want to get the official forecast. That's the most important thing that you can possibly do is to make certain you have all that taken care of. Currently, again, this is what we're going to be seeing throughout the course of the rest of the day today is, again, just chances of showers out across portions of the Mid-South. And that's going to be about it for the day today. Join me on Facebook. Join me also on my YouTube channel as well and find out more about what's going on with the forecast again throughout the course of the rest of the day today. So again, that's going to be one of the best things you can do, and we'll keep you updated on that. Also, join me for, again, an update on the forecast from 7 to 9 this morning on TalkBack Live. Bob and Josh also on TalkBackLiveNetwork.org if you'd like to know more about what's going on there. Seven-day forecast available on News Channel 3 online at WREG.com. Also as well with our interactive radar page, and we'll have much more coming out throughout the course of the rest of the day. Robert McCulley, do we think we'll have a lot of snow this year? Way too early to tell about that. Uh, would be nice if we could tell you that, but right now, uh, way too early about that at this point in time. Elizabeth Wood Booth, uh, the worst of the storms has moved out of the area, and basically all that's left at this time is just some light scattered showers on radar, and that's about it. Everything moving away from us and heading on over toward Middle Tennessee, but some sprinkles this morning means you are going to have to use those windshield wipers as well for the rest of the day. Another check of your forecast. i got to hop out on set for the next update, so stay tuned for more there. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3, Weather Overtime, WREG.com slash weather, and throughout the rest of the day and into the weekend with yours truly, I'm meteorologist Austin Onnit. Thanks for joining me on Twitter, Periscope, and Facebook. More coming up throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3.